Welcome back everyone, my name is Tony Lau. Today we're going to be talking about the last two stand in our Feng Shui dating series. We're going to be talking about how do you know someone's a foodie? And also, what are the exciting people out there just based on your birthday in the Chinese zodiac calendar, also known as the solar calendar. As I mentioned before, you can use this free calendar I found online I'm not affiliated with the calendar. It's just the one I found that has English date in it. You can use a Chinese one if you understand Chinese. Perfectly fine. There are plenty out, out there. This is the one I found in English. We've gone over eight of the 10 stand already in the couple palace. These are different personality. So we're down to the last two, which is the foodie and the exciting folks. Now this is actually a pair of personality. They are similar and yet opposite in some way, but they're similar. First one we're going to be talking about is the God of the Cookeries stand. The literal translation is someone that likes to eat, which is exactly what a foodie is. How do you know you are a foodie if you were born in any of these states? Bing Shu, Bing Shen, Ding Wei, Ding Chao, Wu Shen, Ji Yu, Ren Yin, Gui Mao. This is how you know you're a foodie. Obviously, the good thing about this stand is you enjoy great food. They're also someone that enjoys cooking at home. Also, they're a hopeless romance. Romance is part of their story, which also affects this person who has the god of cookery in the couple palace on vacation destination. Maybe they prefer places such as the beach, sunset, or places that are famed for their romantic story which is a lot of vacation destination in Europe. If you want to meet someone that has this couple palace, a good place to meet them would be in cooking class or pink night. Also, they have a higher than average desire and needs in the bedrooms. If you know what I mean, I don't know if I say that particular word. YouTube may censor this video. On the downside, this person might enjoy food a little too much. If it start impacting their health, there's a higher chance of obesity for people with this particular stand in the couple palace. Since they are hopeless romance, they might run into a lack of reality check. They may go after someone that's out of the league. For example, if they're in the 50s, they might be chasing after 20 years old, unless you're like a super wealthy person. But if they are a five, they might try to date a nine. You know what I mean. On the flip side of the yin and yang, we have the wounded officer stand. Sounds like a soldier that has been wounded in combat, but he didn't get sent to the battlefield. Rather, someone that go join a war because of the adventure and the excitement comes with being an officer. That's what this term is trying to describe. Someone who seek excitement and get wounded in the battlefield. To know if you're a wounded officer, you can check your birthdays to see if you're one of these four days. Jia Wu, Yi Xi, Geng Xi, Xing Hai. Four possibility. A person has wounded officer in the couple palace. They are attracted to excitement. Particularly, they enjoy the company of talented folks. So you have some special ability or you're a talented person, you're mostly going to attract someone that has a wounded officer stand in the couple palace. By talented folks, I mean those that can showcase their ability. It's also a great talker, particularly in public. If you're a public speaker, you most likely has the wounded officer. So someone that's an extrovert, they enjoy a life without boredom. You're mostly going to attract someone that has the wounded officer or you have the wounded officer in your couple palace. That's why you enjoy the excitement and the company of others. Now on the downside is that those with wounded officer in the couple palace is that they dislike boredom. So you have the say the official stand in the first episode I mentioned. It's like really disciplined, doing everything with a schedule. That's the opposite of the wounded officer, who's someone that mostly do things without any plan, who's someone that shoots from the hip, does everything without a plan, just see that new excitement every day. And they dislike that type of people in particular, who has the same routine. And they may even dislike 
wealthy people. Another downside is that they could get emotional when it comes to relationship. They also enjoy taking shots at people, whereas make like smirky remarks. If you're someone that get offended easily, then maybe this might not be the person for you for a long term relationship. Unless you can overcome these type of minor issues. And these are still minor issues in my book, but maybe not for other. It all depends on your tolerance level. This concludes our Feng Shui dating series. If you haven't hit the like button, you're missing out on some good luck and perhaps a chance of better relationship. Also consider subscribing if you made it to the video this far and hit the notification button so you'll be notified about our upcoming videos. And also like if you have any question throughout the series, comment down below. I plan to do another live stream to answer any question in a live setting in it will probably be on a Saturday or Sunday, depending on my schedule. Stay tuned for our upcoming video. We got a lot of exciting stuff coming about. See you next time.